Hey guys, and welcome to a new video. Today, yeah, gambling day. Fuck, champ. Today we're gonna make profit. And a lot of profit, hopefully. Because today, we are going to gamble... Where did I have it? Shit. Oh, here. We're gonna gamble one gilded fossil. Isn't that amazing? One gilded fossil, dude. Holy shit. So, how does this gambling work? Okay, so we have a gilded fossil, right? It says item is overvalued by vendors, which is good. So we sell this one, and it gives us a scroll fragment. Okay? Now, if we're gonna make this one uh, rare... Bam! Super good stats. We sell this one now, we get... 13 alteration shard, okay? So... What we're gonna do is, this is the simple process of crafting. You use a gilded fossil in a resonator and use it on that. And now it says, item sells much more to vendors, okay? So, let's check what we get now. Easy clap, three chaos, okay? This is how this gamble works. So, we paid seven for the gilded fossil and we got three chaos back. What a bad gambling. No, I'm just kidding. I, Dude, I spent the last 37 minutes, approximately... To, uh, yeah, socket and use 200 of these beautiful item sells much more to vendors. This is my, my usual tag that I have on my crafted items, like here, right? Yeah, uh, and here. It just looks better if it says item sells much more to vendors, right? Then you can price it for 20x, although the item is like 19x or so, okay? So, 200 gilded fossilonis, okay? So, this 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 crafting thing is what I did before, okay? So, if we check, check here... A uh, gilded? No, that doesn't work. Vendor. Yeah, vendor. See? Everything here has the, the, the vendor tag here. So, just to speed things up, right? Because if I would be sitting now and socketing 200 of these gilded resonators and then using all those 200 on these jewelries, uh, yeah, pretty long video, I would say. So, profit tab. There we go. I, I, even, I even bought a, a currency tab for seeing things, gamblings like that, yeah? So... Better hit that like button, because I spent uh, Matthew's money here, okay? So, for the write-down, we have 200 gilded fossils by Luker, okay? So, he's at bring me those juicy exalts, because you can get almost every every single uh, currency. I think what somebody reported that was not me, once somebody got a mirror shard out of that gilded fossil. So, I got exalts a couple of times, but uh, I don't think this is actually, if you can get a mirror, I have no idea, or it's just super, super rare, okay? So we're gonna test this one out today. So he bought a bulk of uh, 200 gilded fossils with about 7.5 chaos each, and also the chaotic resonators for like 1.5 each, because if you buy them single-handedly, it's like 6 chaos or something, resonators like 1 chaos. So if you buy them in bulk, then you're gonna pay a little bit more, but makes things quite fast. So, he spent a total of 1,800 Chaos Orbs, which is about 10.5 Exalts, with today's Exalt Exchange Ratio of 1 to 171. That means, once we sold all the 200 items, we need more than 1,800 Chaos Orbs to call this gamble a success, okay? So, what we're gonna do is, um, I think we're just gonna sell... Um, we, we're gonna make the first... Let's say the first, like this one here. The first ones we're gonna make slowly to see what we can get, okay? So, here. Exalt. Easy clap, dude. Easy profit, dude. Easy profit. Okay, how many more to go? Nine exalts more to go. Easy clap, okay. Second one here. Here we got some alchemies. Here we got a, a bunch of like every single currency besides the bigger ones, right? Then we have uh, more alchemies. Uh, oh, here, some, some remnant of corruptions. Uh, I'm just checking the, this uh, this this exalted pile here if it gets bigger and bigger. So, oh, exalted orb! There you go, two exalted orbs. Easy clap, and we're just gonna keep on going if we're gonna get some fancy stuff over here. So, three exalted orbs and stack decks, pop champ. Okay, so we're just gonna sell this one. Uh, we're gonna throw everything into the profits tab over here, right? This is how we do it. Easy money, dude. Easy money, dude. Three exalts in the house already. Uh, and I'm probably allowed to open these stack decks as well. Wait. D&D. Sir, can I open stack decks? I mean, obviously I'm allowed to. Why, why, should, why, why he shouldn't say no, dude? 
I'm getting those doctors out of that stack. Of course you can, babe. See? Easy clap. D&D. Okay, so. Stack decks, we're gonna open that later on. So, as you saw uh, how this thing is working, so we're just gonna keep on rolling uh, these items here. And hope for even more exalts, right? So, sell. Let's go. Alchemy, stack decks. Uh, a bunch of everything. More bunch of everything. Couple chaos. More chaos. Hey, where is the exalted orb? Where is the exalted orb? Hello? Ah! Exalted orb. Hogchamp. Okay, we, we, we keep on going, dude. We keep on going and sell the last here. Oh! Exalted orb! Easy money, dude. Easy money. Okay, sell this. Easy clap money, dude. We are halfway through winning this gamble and we already have half of the gambling won, dude. And we already have still a complete tap full of uh, to go, right? Holy shit. Once this video is public, gilded fossils will be worth like 20 chaos each. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Easy mo- Oh, the chaos, 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 chaos. Stack decks. Stack decks. More stack decks. Where, where are the exalties, dude? Wow, not a single exalt? Shit. I, th I think I, sh I shouldn't have uh, said something about profits. Now the game is like, you, you, ha! <laughs> MVX, he thinks he actually gonna make profit with that one. So it's like, you know, first you feed him with a little bit of gambling blood, a little bit of profit, and then you just take everything away from him, right? Nah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going for this. I'm not falling for this, dude. We are going to make the big, the big loots here, okay? I want to see this exalted chart somewhere. So more of that, more of that, more of that, more of that, and click, 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 click. Again, no exalted orb. Hey, GGG. Where's my exalted orbs? Hello? <laughs> Where are my exalted orbs going? Oh, come on. Such a good start, and now you're gonna tell me we're gonna have a bad ending here? We still need like five exalts or so. Oh, chaos, 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 more chaos. Hey. Don't, don't, don't give me that. Hey, game. You, you you promised me to make profit. What the fuck? Hello? Where is the, the pepperonis going? Uh, the exalteronis? Ah, never mind. Dude, we got this. We got this, dude. In this, in this cell, we're gonna have three exalts now, dude. I'm telling you. Three exalts incoming. More, more, more. Sell, 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 sell. And... What the fuck is this shit? Dude! Hey! Oh, come on! What is this? What do you say? I have always like a little bit of a voice in my head. He said that I gotta get a doctor because of, of that to make the, the big profits. I'm gonna see. So, more of these remnant of corruptions. Oh, an exalted orb! Only one exalted orb. Hey, but better than zero, right? Better than zero exalted orbs. And now we're gonna make some some quick math, basically, to see how much these uh, things go for, right? A quick math to do. So, selling more of these. Okay, we need like probably like two more exalted orbs to make this a really good gambling. So, maybe Navali is default. Let's sell it to to Yun. So, one Exalted Orb by Yun, is it the same here? That would be weird if you can just switch vendors. But yeah, one Exalted so it's the same. Okay, sell. Okay, we're, we're through with these, okay? So we have, we made seven Exalted Orbs, so we need to gather like six, uh, three Exalted Orbs just by the rest that we got. I think we can do this. I think we can actually do this. So, first of all, stack decks, uh, decks. sorry. Family friendly stream, you know, guys. Blood Aqueduct. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see what we get. Oh, wait. We need to price check this first. Because this is not part of the gambling, okay? So, approximately 5 chaos each. Makes uh, 
Like 27 times 5, which would be almost an exalt already. Nurse in the house! That's like two exalts! Three exalts! Easy money, dude! Easy money, dude, I'm telling you. Easy currency. Alright, let, let's let's grab up these here. Easy money, dude. So you know you know the deal, guys, right? If it if these cards wouldn't bring any profit, right? Then we would just count in the actual value of the stacked deck cards, right? Hey, we we made profit, right? We actually made profit here, so delete this. This doesn't count. We opened them. We went for the gamble and it yielded us profit. So, uh yeah, one chaos, one chaos, two, three, four, I don't know. Like let's let's make a a, a quick thing. Like two exalts, 2.2 exalts. Um the rest doesn't seem to be too good. Twala Temple card, poor choice. Uh, yeah, you know what? Uh, 171 multiplied by 2.2 .2 is, yeah, we, we think like 15 exalt, uh, 15 chaos on top of that, right? Like, yeah, let's say, let's say 390, okay? Might be wrong, might be right. 390, there we go. Easy clap. So, let's just throw all of that into here. Because I don't really want to waste your time with uh, these kind of stuff. Because we know that the nurse card is going to be the POC thing here. So, then we have 7 exalts, right? 7 times 171 is 1,197. Alright, 200 chaos to go. Easy, 213 chaos. So, what do we have here? Uh, Wisdom Scrolls, POC Champ. Um, probably 1 for 60 would be 5 chaos over here. Easy, we're not gonna calculate this. No, 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 no. GCP is a little bit. That's probably 1.3, which makes like 16 chaos, probably. 16, here we have 20 for 120, means uh, 1 for 12, makes 1 chaos. A couple Chisalonis makes it, uh, 0.3 is like, ah, oh, dude, let's just do 20 chaos for those three here, okay. So, transmutations, uh, we are hitting about 10 for 180, makes like, let's say like 17 for those, then we have alterations, 500, that could be well, uh, worth more. We have like 400 for 100 chaos, 450, 470, uh, makes like, yeah, let's say 100, uh, let's make this, to, yeah, 100, uh, I don't know, like 105 chaos or something. The exalts we have, chance orbs, probably not too many, uh, 15, oh actually 20 for 300, there you go, 20, perfect. Alchemies, alchemies, holy shit, that's a lot of alchemies. So 0 0.5, if somebody buys them in bulk, 0 0.7 probably, okay, so we can actually count 5 divided by, um, is it 0 0.5, 0 0.7 for bulk price. No, that's too much. Wait a second. Uh, 536 multiplied by 0 0.7. 375. There we go, boys. Easy money, dude. Then 199 chaos. Uh, yeah, this is like 5, 6, 7 chaos. Uh, 10 chaos. 20 chaos, 25 chaos. Somewhere at that range. Doesn't need to be too, uh min-maxing, you know. If you have one alchemy, uh, probably for a bulk price, you can get one chaos for each. Because this is what I do too with my corruptions. If you have so many for sale, you can put up the price, not one alch, one chaos. And yeah, so, which makes a total profit of 583 chaos and a broken hand because socketing those gildeds in was quite, uh, yeah, not so enjoyable. But hey, three and a half exalts profit. Easy clap. Dude, easiest currency of my life. Now, my l friends, my dear loved ones, go and buy all the gilded fossils. Go and buy all the gilded fossils. So MBX can make some profit. Here we have one gilded fossil. Since you're probably, like, n now it's six chaos once you start buying it. Uh, yeah, mm, yeah, let's say 75 chaos each, dude. This is, this is accurate. Okay, now go and buy my gilded fossils. 
<laughs> thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And see you on the next video.